Welcome back to another Steam That tutorial. Today we will look at your personal page and how to navigate Steam That and basic functions that you will need to know. First thing we will do is navigate to our personal page. Click on your name in the top right hand corner of the page. Once you click on your name in the top right hand corner of the page, you will be taken to your personal feed. The first thing that we are going to do is update our banner. Here you see the traditional Steam That banner on the page. What you're going to do is click on the photo icon in the top right hand corner. It will drop down an icon that says Modify. Click on Modify. Once you select Modify, you can upload a photo by clicking on Upload Photo. Once you click on Upload Photo, you can select a banner and open it. You will notice that instantly your cover photo changes. That is it. That is all you have to do to upload and change your cover photo. Next, we will create our first post. Here in this block on your feed, you can enter a custom message, anything that you choose. This is simply a quick link to post your first post. Once you type in your message, simply select post. Your first post has now been posted to your feed. Now that you have created your first post, let's look at some other unique things that you can do. Click on the status icon. Click on the poll icon. The poll icon gives you an option of creating a poll. Option 1. Option 2. Selecting a Allow Multiple Option Selection allows the person commenting on your poll to select multiple items. If you only want them to be able to select one of the two items, then remove the checkbox. Now you are going to enter what the poll is about. Once that is done, simply hit post. You will notice that your poll has been posted. A person can now select one of your two options and hit submit. You will see the results of the poll displayed with inside of the blog post. Next, let's add some friends. There are two ways to do this. In the top right hand corner there's a friend request icon. You can simply click on the icon and see who has sent you a friends request. Once the drop down icon shows who has sent you a friend request, you can simply approve or ignore. Go down the list and approve everyone you want to add to your friend list. Ignore those who you do not. After you click approve or ignore, those members will be added or ignored. Next, you can look at messages. Click on the email icon 
and it will show you any messages that has been sent to you. Next, you can look at pending notifications. Pending notifications are notifications that come to your profile based off of the notifications that you placed in your settings box. Currently, we have closed out all notifications, so no notifications will show. You can select how your notifications are delivered to you by going to your settings and selecting which notifications you want to be seen. If you don't know how to do this, please refer to our previous video, Setting Up Your User Profile. The second way to add members is by going to the Members tab and selecting Members. Once you click the Members tab, you will be taken to the Members page. On the Members page, you can search for members, you can search for members by gender. You can sort alphabetically, recently online, or newest members. You can select by members I follow or members I don't follow. And you can also select only users with avatars. As users with avatars are more likely to be more active members. If someone has sent you a friend request, you can accept, reject, or not following and start following them. If they have not sent you a friend request, you can simply hit add as friend and it will send them a friend request. Here you can type and search for members customly. By typing in the search bar a name, you can find members who closely relate to those that you type in the search bar. Once you find the person you want, you can click add them as a friend to add them as a friend. Under block, you can see members that you have blocked. If you have not blocked any members, no results will display. To block a member, simply click on the settings gear next to the person and select block user. We will not block a user in this demonstration. Again, go to the top right hand corner of the screen and click on your name. This will take you back to your feed page. Once you're on your feed page, you can see all the posts that you've posted just simply by scrolling down the screen. You can navigate across the bottom of your tabs to see different statuses. Here you have your personal stream under stream. If you click on the about tab, you will see information about you. If you click on the badges tab, you will see badges that you have earned. Currently, we have not earned any badges, so there are no badges to display. If you click on blog post, you will see blog posts that you have posted. If you click on membership, you will see a list of groups that you are a part of. If you click on Steam list, you will see classify ads that you have placed. If you click on friends, you will see your list of friends. Here display is a list of friends that you have. If you click on groups, you will see a list of groups that you are a part of. Currently, we are not a part of any group. To join a group, simply go up here to the groups tab, select groups, after you select groups, you will be taken to the groups page. On a groups page, you can see groups and group categories. To join a group, simply if it's a closed group, select request to join. If it's an open group, just select join. If it's a closed group that you want to join, simply select request to join you will notice a pending approval link shows for closed groups. Once you are accepted to that group, your member status will update and you can select follow and be notified to get notifications from the group. You will see check boxes next to actions that you can take. Follow, be notified, or receive emails. We do not want to receive emails, so we uncheck the receive emails box. 
Next, we will navigate back to our personal page. Again, click the username in the top right hand corner. Next, you can navigate to your photos feed. Under the photos feed, you can see photos that you have uploaded. Next, select the video feed. If you have updated a video, next select the video feed. If you have uploaded a video, the video will show here. You can then select orders in cart to see orders that you've placed for things like Steam that tokens or stitch tokens. You can also see your cart which will show your request to buy stitch tokens. We will cover orders in a later video. We will navigate at this time back to our ST tutorial page. In this video we have covered how to change your cover photo, how to post your first post, how to post a poll, as well as how to navigate through the different links on your profile feed as well as how to join a group.